Believe my words. You'll find proof in morning. One more thing. This is not a dream. The second day, XP score. Is that how you say it? XP score? I think I ought to believe the man. I don't think dream goblins would lie to me. Someone, I guess someone left the package by her door. What's oh, this? it's a book. A There's rock a with a book. strange stone strapped to the cover. Is that like a college insignia? Day one. Arrived after a decent day's ride from Bakewell. This is a curious place. Locals seem dis distant. I'm to meet my local contact tomorrow, so it will be an early night for me. I shall try to keep a diary of my stay here and not give up by day three of the excavation as usual. Despite the thrill of possible new discoveries, I cannot stop thinking about my dear wife and wonder if I should have left her and should have left her in her current state. I must have faith that she will conquer this bout of illness. Day 4. True to form, my journal has been abandoned. Let that not speak for the excitement I feel for this excavation. After much preparation, we dig tomorrow. Such an exceptional sight with a unique history. Such as for the dangers, we shall meet them head first. We are prepared. I also sought out a local wise woman yesterday, and she provided me with a tincture for my beloved nausea, or for, for my beloved's nausea. I am sure she shall be pleased with it upon my return. Lo, a place of miracles. A planted seed sprouted before my eyes and illuminated our path. Nature's laws have no meaning here, but I clutch my tablet with the knowledge that it shall end this. We found the code was simply in the singularity of the characters. All eyes must face towards the seventh Argontic? I have no idea what this means. Some mythology type shit. When the sun and the two moons meet, the guardian shall be defeated. A dead language reveals the path. For thou art the moon, the chief of the stars. Listen to the things that I have said. All the words of my mouth reveal thyself to me. I heard a whisper, not once, again and again. I, I will pour out my spirit. I will pour out my spirit. I will pour out my spirit. Alright, I'm gonna see some crazy things whenever I start digging into this thing. It appears to be a journal, full of hogwash. I don't recognize the handwriting. Maybe Stanley knows more about it. That's what you say when you receive something like that and have a dream like you did? It's not all Good hogwash. Morning. How's your head, Miss Bateman? That was quite the tune you treated us to last night. To be honest, Stanley, I felt better. There's also a I knife on the table. I take it you slid this journal under my door? I beg your pardon? The journal, Stanley. Well, I certainly did no such thing. Nor could have anyone else. You're the only guest staying here. What's the meaning of all this? Do you propose that it manifested itself out of thin air? Yes. Well, uh... Continue accusing Mr. Kemp. It must have been him. Relent. He might be telling the truth. Of course he's telling the truth. I'm sorry. I just don't understand how else it could have got there. Dr uh, yeah, I'm talking about Are all of sure this. Are you sure there was no one else here overnight? Without doubt. How very, very peculiar. So, what does it say inside? Uh, show Stanley the contents. Perhaps he can decipher it. I'll show Take Stanley. Might as well trust him all the way at this point. Well, I can't make head nor tail of it. Neither can I. Maybe someone else in the village can help you with it. Watch Stanley be like the head of some religious cult that lives down inside the Hobbs Barrow or something. What do you make of this stone? That's a funny looking thing. It's got a cockerel on it. Yes, but have you seen anything like it? Never. Never. Do you ever have strange dreams, Stanley? Me? I sleep as sound as a baby. I had one such dream last night. It was so vivid. Because it wasn't what a dream. What about? Yes, I explain. I was at Hobbs Barrow. Oh? But everything was different. Great peaks soared in the distance. And there was a creature. A creature, you say? Yes. A short, robed fellow. Eyes as black as pitch. Yoda. It told me that my father had been there in Hobbs Barrow many years ago, but something went wrong and the creature helped him escape. It said that I would find proof in the morning. Oh, the journal. You've had a premonition, lass. Please, Stanley, I've no time for that nonsense. But I'll admit it's a strange coincidence. Open up your now, mind, what did I tell you about Hobbs Barrow? That I should leave it alone. Aye. Hogwash. No. Listen to Your the man. Your dream reminds me of a story from my childhood. An old folk tale about Hobbs Barrow. What is this folk tale you mention? Tell me more. Well, when I were a wee boy, there were talk of a goblin. They say he lived inside Hobbs Barrow. Hence the name, Hobbs Barrow. Hobb 
coming from Hobgoblin, of course. Ah. Unfortunately, I don't remember anything else about it. Nice name. I was told not to believe in such fairy tales, Stanley. Don't close your mind to such things, lass. I'm sure Mr. Shoulder will tell you more. Perhaps, if I ever meet him. Goodbye. See you soon. Exactly, don't be so stubborn, Good morning, Thomasina. Mr. Kemp. Good day, Miss Tompkins. I'm here for his lordship's paper. Sorry, lass. Mr. Price hasn't dropped them off this morning. I heard he actually left the village yesterday. Indeed, I can vouch for that. Ma'am? Good day. Oh, dear. His lordship won't be pleased. My sincerest apologies, Miss Tompkins. I'll come back in a few days. Ta-ra. Goodbye. That's why the mailman shouldn't just leave town unannounced. But maybe he had an emergency. Right. I need to convince Mr. Bryden to let me excavate Hobbs Barrow and find out where this journal came from. I think you might have to kill him to convince him of that. Good day. I'm still setting up my stall. Come back later. All right, cool. Oh, I'm sorry. How are you doing, sir? Thomasina! Oh, that's just Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. You look a bit addled. Are you feeling all right? Eh, a bit hungover. I'm not over. used to drinking as much as we did. Aye, my head is pounding. How is your head you pounded? You must have went hard in the paint. I've had a somewhat puzzling morning. Oh? Someone slipped this journal under the door of my room. Whose journal is it? I have no idea. The Hobgoblins. The text refers to some sort of excavation. Well, Stanley must be playing tricks on you. He swore his innocence. I thought perhaps you might have done it. No, it wasn't me. That's for certain. Somehow I have a clear memory of last night. That's a bit odd. I wonder who left me this journal then. Mind if I take a closer look? Please, go ahead. What can you make of it, Arthur? Do you speak in a dead tongue? He speaks in the tongue of drink. The writings of a madman. Thank, Thank you, don't Arthur. I disagree. Do the sketches mean anything to you? No, not at all. But they turn me stomach. You might want to show this to Mother Mildred. Who's Mother Mildred? Some think her a witch. A witch? Aye. She might be able to help you with the symbols. Where can I find her? She lives alone in a little cottage within Hearn Wood here. You shouldn't have too much trouble finding her. Thanks, Arthur. You're welcome. All right, I kind of want to go seek out this witch. Or am I getting another flashback to a witch in my childhood? Thomasina, dear, come say goodbye to your father. It'll be the last time you see come him healthy. Come on now, don't make him wait. I don't want to. Oh, she's mad at him. Hey, father. Aren't you going to miss me? I hate you, Daddy. Those are strong words for such a little lady. I want to come with you. We've been through this, little bird. You can't come with me this time. But we'll go to Seabra next month. I promise. Oh, what a dig that shall be. I hate you. Well, I love you. See you soon, little bird. Hmm. <laughs> I think she's kind of mad. And those are the final words she spoke to her father. Oh, Mrs. Witch, I can't remember your name. Do you still live in the woods? There she is. She is examining that berry. Excuse me. I don't want to give you a fright. Please, forgive my intrusion. Are you Mother Mildred? Some call me that. I prefer Mildred Walker, given as that's my name. Apologies. Thomasina Bateman. I think we met at Bewley Station. I take it Panswick's men have cleared off. Good riddance. Those ruffians would cut their own noses off if he asked them to. Yeah, they probably would, to I be honest. I recognised you the moment I laid eyes on you at the station. Oh, I beg your pardon? She was at the beginning yeah, of the game. There's quite a striking family resemblance. You have your father's eyes, Miss Bateman. Were you his mistress or something? You knew my father. Such piercing blue eyes he had. What a handsome young man. William. He was here, in Bewley. Oh, yes. A long time ago, mind. Twenty-five years by my reckoning. But I'll never forget those eyes. And this is what caused him to become paralysed. Why was my father in Bewley? He were helping Samuel Bryden excavate Hobbs Barrow. Yeah. <laughs> he must be jesting. Do I look like I'm jesting? How did you come to meet my father? One might say I have a reputation in these parts. Of Folks being a witch. from all around come to me for help with their ailments. Ernwood is abundant with flora that, if mixed correctly, will cure almost any ill. Your father must have caught wind of this, as one day he came to me, asking for a cure. A cure for what? 
Your mother were with child, and she was suffering the most terrible nausea. Adam. I made something to help her. The journal. This was entered in the journal. It belongs to my father. What journal? This journal. Take a look at this. It a seems familiar calls to you. meeting a local wise woman to seek a tincture for his beloved's nausea gravidarum. Aye, that's me. I made the tincture for him. This, this is incredible. You don't recognise your own father's handwriting. It's been so many years since I've seen it. What do you make of this stone? I-A-W. I haven't a clue. Perhaps it's an old folk trinket or a talisman of some kind. The moors are steeped in folklore. What can you tell me about the excavation? Well, not much. I only met your father twice. The last time he asked me if I knew anything about binding magic. Binding, binding magic. magic. He said he needed it for the excavation. Hogwash. My father is a man of logic and reason. Why would he be asking about such nonsense? Because the barrel Perhaps convinced you don't him know otherwise. Him as well as you think you do. Anyway, I know nothing of magic and told him so. He seemed disappointed. I never saw him again. But I understand the excavation went ahead. Samuel bride and hanged himself not long after. Reason enough for you to stay well clear of that place. Then this is a crazy story. <laughs> oh, I love this game. You never saw my father again after the excavation? No. I always assumed he just went home. Hmm. Who excavated Hobbs Barrow alongside Samuel Bryden and my father? From memory, it were just the two of them. Thank you for your help, Ms. Walker. That old lady knows a lot about these lands. Miss Bateman? Yes. Yes. Remember what I told you when we first met? Why'd you sound so aggravated? You're better off waiting for the next train back to the city. Why? Something terrible happened to Samuel Bryden in that barra. Whatever they found down there, I'd wager it got to your father too. Tell me you won't disturb Hobbs Barra. I can't make that promise, Mildred. Can't say I didn't warn you. There is something unnatural about that place. We must seek to understand the world by rational means, Miss Walker. One cannot abandon reason. Well, you're about to abandon all the reason that you have ever had in your mind. And it'll be spun upside down. Thomasina, come here this instant. It's about I'm your father. With Josephine. She can wait. This is very important. What is it, Mummy? It's it's your father. Daddy's home? No, my dear. I must go to Bakewell with haste. Miss Bowes will look after you whilst I'm gone. Is that clear? Where's Daddy? He's had an accident. What happened? He's come off his horse. Silly Daddy. Will he be all right? Of course. Of course he will be fine. Your father is as strong as an ox, but I need to go collect him, all right? Can't I come too? No, dear. Miss Bowes will look after you. But I want to come. Go pick up your dolls, then come inside, all right? Yes, Mummy. Well, looks like things are going to take a very dark turn in this game very fast. Where did Mummy go? She got, they got teleported. Back to the woods. What are you doing? Oh, remember the dream. Then, and I can help him again. I'm gonna trust him. Let's go find that hobgoblin. Who the hell is this? Oh, that's just Arthur. He looks w Arthur, way different from behind. You won't believe it. The journal belongs to my father. He was here in Bewley. Arthur? Do you okay? Hello? Sorry, uh, I'm trying to remember something. What is it? He doesn't remember. I'm not sure. <laughs> something in the woods. It will come back to me. You say your father were in Bewley? Yes. Mildred said that he helped Samuel Bryden excavate Hobbs Barrow 25 years ago. Well, I'll be. Let's talk about it tonight at the plough. Yeah, I'm going to tell him about the dream. Arthur, I must tell you about the dream I had. I was at Hobbs Barrow and there was a creature. It told me it saved my father from something inside and that I would find proof of this in the morning. Sure enough, when I awoke, the journal was in my room. Mildred confirmed the journal belonged to my father. The creature told me it could help my father again. I mean, it was merely a dream. I don't know what to think anymore. Abandon Arthur? the reason. Open your mind. Arthur, are you listening? He's focusing. Fine, then. We'll talk later. I hope you piece together your memories. He probably has some master piece of information that we're missing. Hey, little girl. How you doing? Hello. Okay, goodbye. Let's follow her. Excuse me, sir. Oh, this is the old guy from the first first episode. Did you see a young girl with blonde hair pass by here? 
No, lass. Here you are. Are you Thomasina Bateman? I am. Oh, no. Is this, uh, Shoulder? Leonard? That's my name. Is this oh, you, Leonard? Marvelous. It's me, Leonard hey. Shoulder. Heavens! I'd given up on finding you. Please take a seat, Miss Bateman. About time. We have much to discuss. 